but before we get into a very juicy am i the arsehole oh my um, god we would, roxanne's got a good one for me I'm yeah excited. we would open up about what we charge because like we said we're always going on about how much we charge and stuff like that so we never actually said the never actually amount said the amounts of like what we charge for certain things um so laura would you like to go first it just all depends on obviously who the person is and I always go back to so I did actually I don't know if this is naughty but I did actually save the AOI file well, I was paying for it so I think it's yeah. fine so I can go back to it and say right what should I do and that's how I knew last time somebody came to me for t-shirt design and knew that eight to ten percent was the average for royalties as well so I knew that so recently I did a design did four t-shirt designs with a small startup company and I charge £950 for those designs and then I'm going to get 8% on top of that Um, but because we're sort of doing the 8% on top of that and also we sort of like worked out a deal I'm going to promote it she's going to promote it she's going to say it was by me because a lot of the time because yeah. that brand has the copyright she didn't need to say it was designed by this person but she's going to big me up I'm going to big her up and I've said to Do her you sell your copyright people no she's not no I've not sold the co- sorry I said that wrong I've not given her the copyright so she can't do what she wants with it but I've given her the life I've given her yeah. I've given her I a just full, wanted to clarify yeah yeah that. yeah I've given her a full lifetime license so she can do obviously it's just for t-shirts so if she wants to put it on something else she can but she'd obviously have a little yeah. bit of an extra charge but if she wants to sell those t-shirts for 10 years she can as long as I've got the eight percent yeah so I'm not going to charge her again in six months if that makes yeah. sense and yeah. um, the most I've ever charged is 4,500 which sounds insane and when I sent that quote off and obviously we agreed on it I was like this is amazing but it was for if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it um it was for an online children's audiobook so it was like a play that they'd recorded with actors and then I did the illustrations but it, it ended up being so we'd agreed on the price before realizing how many illustrations there would be so we looked through the script spent quite a lot of time together reading through the script figuring out what needed an illustration and we ended up doing 60 illustrations and the beginning of it she wears a blue jumper or an orange jumper so obviously all the illustrations I had to do one with an orange jumper one with a blue jumper which wasn't too bad but in the end it was like 120 illustrations so we said we'll do it over a month and I was like I can do it I can do it so I'd send them the sketches 10 sketches at the beginning of the week each month was 10 sketches so each week was 10 sketches so we're like let's do it over six weeks so I send 10 sketches at the beginning of the week then I would go on a call and they'd say this, this, this and that, amazing, and then the sketches and then I would draw them over like three days, 10 illustrations like that over three days. I didn't, a lot of the time I just didn't sleep and I'd just started my pub job, which was three days a week and I, it was it was bad and then in the end it ended up being over three months. So three months work as a freelancer, because obviously I couldn't take on any extra work for 4,500 isn't really a lot even though it sounds like a lot, it wasn't. And I probably would, it's probably worth like 10K that really. Yeah. When you think about it. Yeah, they wouldn't have been able to, well, maybe they would have, but um, as I, they were a small business themselves. But that's how much I charge. That's the most I've got, but it really wasn't a lot, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd better give a backstory after, after so people three. aren't like, whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. After yeah. Three, three months, what's that breakdown? 4,500, it's what, 1,000 and something every month, which is like minimum wage minimum wage yeah. yeah um obviously I was I was so happy to do it anyway like I'm I'm very glad that I did it I would have done it again it was an amazing opportunity to be able to do something like that yeah. and have that on my CV and um, my portfolio so that was good but obviously sometimes you need to think about the time that's going to take you to be able to price it properly and yeah. I was just overly I was like yeah we can do it in a month I was like we'll do it and yeah uh, just it, in the back of my mind I probably knew that I couldn't do it but I just wanted to do everything because it was so nice it was so lovely these girls and I was like I really just I'm gonna do my best and it's gonna be amazing so I actually said to them in the um because I knew obviously that it would be quite expensive I'd said to them on the call I was like look I want to be fully transparent with you this is what the AOI says for an order like that for an, for a book a children's book over you know for a small business and over this many countries or whatever um so that's what the going rate is 
but because it's going to be a few more illustrations, uh, I think the going rate was 3,500 for a book, but then I was like, because it's going to be a lot of illustrations, I'll do 4,500, and they're like, yeah, we think we can do that. Whereas, like, if it would have been 12 illustrations, I could have charged 3,500, which would have been great, because I could have done that in two weeks. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'd like to know what else, how much you charge for other things as well. For, like, what lo- do I charge for like, logos? Or? I don't, I haven't really done logos. I am about to do a branding project with one of my friends, and because I've never done it before, I was like, I don't want to do it for free, because it's going to be quite a bit of work, but I'm doing that for 350, which I think is all right for starting out, because I've never done a branding package before, so yeah. I've done that for 350. And I'm, I'm going to give you some, I've given some pointers on that yeah well. yeah you'll she was give like me what should advice. I do what do I send I was I was like, like, this is what what's I do. included but I just sat down with her so I actually met up with her in real life and I was like what do you want and she listed everything that she wanted and I was like we'll is just do Coco's, it all Coco Clay Clay Colas Clay Colas Clay yeah yeah, yeah. She she's great me. by the way yeah she yeah me. she was like oh I love the podcast I was oh, like hi, hi. Uh, uh, yeah she's great oh uh, and then if anyone wants um, an illustration for uh, business purposes, so like a podcast cover or whatever, and I do obviously normally work with small companies, so I would probably do between 200 to 350 pounds. That's what I would do for an illustration. But obviously if somebody wants like five people in an illustration and it to be like a detailed background I'm obviously going to charge a lot more but that's just sort of based off one or two people yeah and then obviously like for um like personal portraits so let's say you said to me I want an illustration of me and you on the wall obviously I won't charge you but like on my website I charge around 100 for that so it's obviously a lot cheaper for not not a client I'm trying to think of anything else like what else uh murals so mural. So when I was looking at window uh, displays, actually, I, I'm part of the coven. So I went into the coven and I was just like, I want to do window displays. How much should I charge? Someone had messaged saying, I'll give you some advice. And she said, 150 pound per square meter. And she was like, I don't add anything onto that. So she just said, put do 150 pound per square meter so basically i'll ask now for murals what's the uh, the measurements of the wall and then obviously depending on how much they want so let, let's say they want the whole wall painted like i'm going to do with mine i'll base it on 150 pound per square meter but if they only want like a little bit of it covered or like a third of it covered or half of it covered i'll include that in the estimation so i'll send an estimation over full wall it'll be this much half of the wall this much yeah. a quarter of the wall third of the wall this much and then that's sort of how i do it with murals yeah so that's sort of what I charge just trying to think of anything else what else do I do I don't even know that's what I do but obviously like maybe I'll put my prices up this year or in a few years well we, we shall see but that's at the moment that's what I'm charging so I've currently got up my new website um, and Exciting. my services page and I thought I would just kind of walk you through what I'm currently charging these might be a little bit different when it actually goes live um, these are just like my, my provisional my provisional ones so uh, for my logo design and branding packages I, I mentioned last week that uh, I don't do singular logos anymore which is still the case I don't do I don't just send like one jpeg file anymore like I used to but I do have a logo starter set which kind of includes like mood board color palette like design concepts for logos like your primary logo submark logo final files and that's 400 pounds i think that's great uh, for a logo start set mm-hmm. uh, visual brand identity investment from 900 pounds so this is from the key 900 is from. yeah from 900 pounds this is the base rate so that includes questionnaire, mood board, color palette, uh, logo design concepts, two round of amendments. I do make sure people are aware how many amendments they get. It just avoids awkwardness like around down the line. Yes, yeah, so you've got like your primary logo, your submart logo, you've got your highlight covers, your brand pattern, uh, two business collateral designs, which is like stickers, thank you cards, business cards, etc. Brand guidelines, um, final files and that like i said that's from 900 pounds and then i do have a package that is the ultimate visual brand identity and this investment is from 1600 so that includes questionnaire mood board color palette three logo design concepts two rounded amendments primary logo submark logo brand mark website favicon uh, highlight covers instagram template um, templates brand patterns three business collateral designs 
and uh, brand guidelines and final files. So that is logo design and branding packages that I offer. I do offer as well social media template. I'm going to say the word and I, it's like it's like Voldemort to me, Canva. <laughs> Uh, Canva has a is very very great for new businesses however uh, you cannot this is something I must add you cannot trademark your logo if you've made it on Canva and also a lot of the popular Instagram templates are overused so if you do want to have a very bespoke uh, tone of voice for your brand and you do want to have a social media feed that is not like anything else that anybody else has done slash got um that's why you hire a designer so you don't use pre-made templates can that just, everybody else can use. Can I just say, right, so this is just a bit of advice I'm asking from for you, from you if that's okay. I'll just say, like we said before, <laughs> if you don't want to give me this advice, totally fine. But Shoni from uh, Colors Clay, so I'm doing her, um, her branding and she was saying, is there a way that like I could just get a template for social media and I can just like go back in and quickly change the text? A bit like Canva. Is there a way that I could do that for her if she doesn't have Adobe Illustrator? Uh, yes, you can. I've, I've personally never done it, but you can make Canva templates and upload so that's them what to I Canva. Thought, but can it can it just be for her? Uh, yes, I think you can potentially. I don't know. Um, I, you might have to look into that. But if they don't have Illustrator, you can use. So, for example, when I say templates, so my clients do you still use Canva to use my templates but like for example if they say if they say to me right I want a font that is available on Canva that I can use I know what kind of font that they want then yeah and I know that I can then buy the licensing for that font so I can design that so then they can then use that on Canva a lot of the Canva fonts are free fonts that you can download from like the Adobe um yeah font book anyway so so for example, I did a full branding project for a nail um, artist and I I gave them um, social media templates and that consisted of, I think it was 10 backgrounds. So one of the backgrounds, oh, one of the backgrounds were like the color in the color palette. So that's a background. Mm. And then I've got the brand pattern. That's a background in all of their colorways. And then you've got like different ones where they're like oh also what I want I want like a, a girl with the nails out and I want that I want to be able to put that on things so I've made custom illustrations and then they put the png files into canva and make them that way oh and they just put the text over the yeah, top text right. over the top so you can be like yeah 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 um, that make, that's great that. and I do say if you do have any issues and you want to ask me how you can use certain things it's like I made this custom you know like the instagram question box I made it look like that so then she can just put that on top of one of the backgrounds and just add text to it to make it look like really cute. That's amazing because I've never used Canva before so I didn't even like I don't even know what it's no, like I've so never, I didn't know you could just put a PNG on. Yeah I've never used it used it but I've been on there to see what people use it for and I think it's, it's probably important just for like market research really isn't it? So yeah uh, so that's social media template. Yeah. Um, yeah so Going back, so that's social media backgrounds, illustrations, highlight covers, Facebook banners, real covers, PNG, Instagram stickers. Um, this is, I haven't actually put a quote on here because it all varies on what you want. So it, it, having a quote wouldn't really work with this because it all really depends. But I think yeah. from the tone of voice and because you can see how much I price myself for other things, you kind of have like a yeah, guideline. Yeah, because it's, it's so varied depending on what yeah. people need because someone might just want, story templates yeah so i also do gifts that is investments from 250 pounds so my packages include three gifts nine gifts and 15 gifts mm -hmm. uh, but yeah so like i said this all depends on how much because some people don't realize what goes into making gifts uh, yeah it's great that you've just got the illustration but i also have to animate it as well so it's an extra job yeah oh definitely yeah i've done gifts before i've only done one job and that's what i asked sophie for i was like what what do you charge she's like oh just this much yeah. I'm so grateful but I've done it too. I would like to do more yeah. I'd like to make my own like you do actually it's, very it's cool great. I love it. brand I love a big doing... identity well that's it as well and I think it's I think it's great making gifts because you're able just to search them and it's not images that you have to have on your phone necessarily so yeah so that's how much I charge for gifts and then like packaging design is from £250 that is where I will require a box template from the manufacturer um, and then I do the packaging design like that. So if someone has already got their brand in and they want me to do a special 
they want like a certain vibe for the one packaging design that's how much i charge custom seamless pattern design is from 175 pounds this all depends it all depends on the intricacy of them um, but at least then they know so like if you wanted so for example if you wanted like a super simple pattern that would be 175 pounds whereas then if, if you, you wanted, wanted something, more, like, detailed, more, more detailed yeah. and more in depth yeah um yeah and then i also offer wix website visual design uh, so the price varies for that so i've done quite a few websites actually have you i didn't uh, know for this wix. yeah so i, I primarily primarily do wix because i do my own website but yeah no so it, it all depends on what you're doing and who you're oh, doing Luna. it for and how many pages Sorry. and stuff like that. <laughs> Luna yeah. just she's been so good all day she's been asleep but now she's like she's, give me attention oh, mommy no. come get down uh yeah so that is everything that's on my website and I also have something at the bottom saying I can't see what you want here are some other services I offer so illustrations thank you cards business cards promotional materials stationery design greeting card design website banners website graphics stickers posters menus brochures window art murals signage gift cards loyalty cards apparel design labels catalogs and then underneath that it's like still can't find what you want get in touch so it's kind of like it's one of them things like with illustration where it's this so many things There's so and many it, things that i can do and i can't yeah. list them, everything see i love that because i don't have that on my website i just have so it. yeah this is something that i've i think you was about to say that you don't have necessarily have the prices on your website yeah i, I don't this well, is I don't, my I, it's not so the prices that i'm very impressed with it's like the fact that you've like listed all the services because i've not really put out there this is what i offer i yeah. just sort of someone asked me and i go okay do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's it though as well. You're not and keeping think, people guessing. Yeah, and it's my um, my spending habits. Like I won't hire somebody. This obviously it all depends on what you do, but I won't hire somebody if I don't really and I won't contact them if I don't really know a ballpark figure of how much they charge because I don't. Yeah, it's I like being be, at the market. Yeah, and you look and there's no prices. I'm gonna walk away because I don't want to ask and then go. Oh, sorry, bye. Yeah. So I think that then sets a an example of like approximately like how much. And obviously it might be more, it might be less, and it all depends on what businesses. Whereas like if a business got in touch with me and was like a massive business and was like, oh, this is how much that I want, like I want doing, I'd be like, right, yeah, but these don't apply to you because you're a massive business. Also investment from. So yeah. 1,600, if Google came in contact with you and was like, we want you to do this, yeah, you, you would be like no 10 grand do you know what i mean yeah exactly yeah that's definitely something that we really need to push i think like because i never realized that um that you charge different for different brands yeah. but it all varies and it's all right us sitting there being like this is how much we charge but this is based off what we're comfortable charging how ex- our experience what we're doing like i said like if i do a mural because i've never actually done it before i think i would charge a lot less than what i would potentially after doing three or four or even free yeah exactly and i think that's okay but as long as you make the client aware that this is the going rate however because i want to do this i'm putting the price down and yeah. i think that's it and it sets a precedent for the rest of us yeah because if there's a small business that has um consistently hired an illustrator that charges 20 quid and then is like oh i fancy something different i'll come to you and then they're like oh my god 300 that's ridiculous if that illustrator is honest and says look it shouldn't cost this much but i'm charging you this much then they're not going to be so shocked when they come to somebody else yeah it's okay if you want to stay loyal to your regulars like i have a quite a few regulars where i still have i've raised my prices maybe once or twice but i've kind of i charge way more for new clients now than what i do with them um but that's all down to loyalty as well and just because so for example if you got in touch with them like oh who do you use for your designs just because I charge them that much doesn't mean I'm going to charge you the same because they've been getting X amount of designs every month for the past year. That's just the way it is. And I'm like, that's yeah. my loyalty to you. 